Hi, I'm trying this little clip today from my car, having a little experiment just before I go into the gym. Uh, I'm meeting Emma today, um, Glenn's wife, she's lovely, she's going to help me with some, some stuff, um, some marketing stuff. But anyway, the word that's around for me, it's been around for a few days now, it's a word that I've mentioned before, I always mention the selves. Self-love, self-esteem, self-worth, but a big word is self-responsibility. And this is so subtle. I've had a few situations this week or over the last week or so where I've realized that, you know, this is this has crept up on me a little bit, but it's an old habit. It's an old tape where I tend to blame other people. And it could be something as little as, you know, some sometimes my wife does the shopping and she might buy some, <laughs> she'll kill me if she knows this, but say some biscuits or something like that. And I try and avoid eating stuff like that, but... If it's in the house, I'll eat it. Um, and I tend to blame her. Well, if you didn't buy it, I wouldn't have ate it. I wouldn't be eating it. So, but then I've realized that's another way of me not taking responsibility. I'll go into partnerships with people, really nice people, people that I'll get on with. Um, but I find that then if things go wrong, I've got somebody else that I can either blame or somebody else to share the blame. Uh, this is so subtle and it like I said, it's old tapes. It goes back for me to being a child. It makes perfect sense You know, I was the eldest of four brothers as the the eldest child. It's known uh, That they tend to have a lot of responsibility. You're the eldest you should know better set an example all of that stuff So I think subconsciously I'm aware that what I've been trying to do is avoid Taking responsibility because if I take responsibility and things go wrong what happens who gets the blame? It's my fault, you know, I, I end up feeling stupid again, which is quite a painful feeling. Uh, obviously stupid's a word, but there's a lot of feelings attached to that as well. So um, these sort of old tapes and these stories that I talk about a lot actually quite often go on at a subconscious level and we keep repeating the same old patterns. So I've realized recently that I'm, you know, subtly in subtle ways repeating these old tapes of not taking responsibility. For some of the things that I do. I'm talking in the car and I can see people going past staring at me. Think, who's that guy talking to? Or people think I might be filming them because I'm holding my phone up. Um, but I guess that's their responsibility, isn't it? So, you know, again, something to look at now. When things are going on in your life, what part of it's your responsibility? Obviously, things happen in life that we're not responsible for. But we are responsible for how we deal with that, how we react. And one of the things I'm definitely going to put into place now is start looking at taking responsibility for my own actions, feelings, thoughts and behaviours. Um, something that I'm aware of, but like I said, it creeps up on us sometimes. Uh, the tape that Brian shared this morning, the guy talked about this as well. And that really, again, I just thought, sometimes I think the universe gives us messages. God, the universe. Um, and I've been hearing this message again and again and again over the last week or two weeks. And it just, the penny just clicked for me yesterday. Um, and then watching Brian's, the film that Brian shared on this page this morning, it just clicked again. And I just thought, you need to get this, you know, this, this responsibility bit is really important. Start taking responsibility for your own actions. Stop blaming other people. Uh, and then you'll be able to make big changes. Stop blaming circumstances. Stop blaming other people. Get on with it, Tony. Uh, and that's what I'm going to do. So enjoy the rest of your day and hopefully speak to you soon. Take care. Bye.